determine the equation of the least square set regression line of the data. So we're given some data here. Let's go ahead and take a look. So during the netball tournament, there are several stalls selling food and refreshments. In a period of 10 minutes at six stalls, the following was observed. So we have our six stalls, one, two, six. And then we are given the number of customers and the amount of money spent. And then there's a scatter plot that is given to us. On the X, we have number of customers. And on the Y axis, we have the amount in rands. And then the equation 2.1, determine the equation of the least square set regression line of the data. Obviously, we're going to use our calculator here. We know fully well that Y is equal to A plus bx something like that and then in order to find the value of a and the value of b we need to use our calculator so let's go ahead and do that so what you want to do you want to press alpha and you press mode after you do that you press the option that has stat on it in this calculator it happens to be three so i'm going to press three and then i will press number two it says a plus bx that is uh, the option that is going to allow you to enter your data and have the least square set regression line, the equation to the least square set regression line. So I press 2 and then you can see I have X and I have Y. So I need to enter all the X values and their corresponding Y values. So we have 10, 7, 9, 12, 8, 13 right so i've entered my data i'm just gonna go through it once more to make sure that i've entered the correct data because if you make a mistake when you enter the data all your answers are going to be incorrect so i have 10 7 9 12 8 13 okay that seems to be fine and now i need to enter the corresponding y value so with 10 the corresponding y value is 163 and then with 7 it's 138 with 9 it's 185 and then we have 12 with a corresponding value of 220 and then after that we get 147 and lastly 245 so i've entered my data what do i do next i press uh, equals you a couple of times and then i press ac right and then after that i will press shift and then I press 1. You can see above 1, we have stat there. So I press 1, and then I go to 5, regression, right? Uh, when I press 5, you can see that I have A, which is what I'm looking for. And I have B, which is another uh, value that I'm looking for. So let me press 1 to access uh, A, the value of A. When I do that, I get 12.5. 5962. Well, if we run it off to two decimal places, uh, we can just use 12.6. So now I can see that uh, A is equal to 12.6. And then what is the value of B? Let's go ahead and find out. I press AC, shift 1. And then I press 5 again for regression, and then 2 so that I can get the value of B. And then when I press it close to 17.329. To two decimal places, we're going to get 17.33. So we have the value of A, we have the value of B. So Y is equal to A, 12.6, plus BX, 12, not 12, but 17, 17.33X. So there we go. That is the equation to the least square regression line. Right, so that is 2.1. And then 2.2, predict the amount of money spent by 11 customers. So we have the number of customers as the X and the amount of money spent as the Y. So it means that now because we have the equation, we can see Y is equal to 12.6 plus 17.33 in the place of X with substitute 11. So let me just uh, go ahead and put that on my calculator. So 12.6 plus 17.33 multiplied by 11. I'm getting 203.23. So y is equal to 203.23.
So that is the amount of money uh, spent by 11 customers. And then uh, moving forward, 2.3, determine the correlation coefficient of the data. We have to go back to our calculator. We press AC, shift, one, five for regression, and then the correlation coefficient is given by small letter R. So in my calculator, I'm pressing option three. Maybe in your calculator, it's a different option, but it doesn't really matter. If it's option four, you press four. And then I press three, press equals to 0 0.95, rounded off to two decimal places. So the correlation is 0 0.95, a very strong correlation. Okay, stories. Uh, the organizers of the event think that there is a very weak positive correlation between the numbers of customers and the amount of money received at stalls. Motivate whether you agree or not. Obviously, I totally disagree, right? I totally disagree. And why do I totally disagree? We have a very high correlation of 0 0.95. Don't forget, correlation is out of 1, right? So zero, 0 0.95 is very, very, very high. If the correlation is 1, then it will be perfect. But 0 0.95 is still very, very high. Maybe if uh, the organizers of the event think that there's a very weak positive correlation. Yeah, if it was 0 0.3, we can deem that weak. But 0 0.95 is very high. Yeah, X is really having an influence on Y. Okay, 2.4. Let's talk about 2.5. At another stall, six customers spent a total of 195 friends. If this point is included in the data, will the gradient of the least squares regression line increase or decrease? Motivate your answer. Without any further calculation. Okay, um, so let's just take a look at our data. Here we have 6 as the X and Y as 195. So let me just make sense of that. We have 6 as the X and 195 as the Y. Okay, so for this data, if we were to draw a line that joins these points, right? Um, a line of best fit we would have something like this we would have something like this yeah you can see that this line really goes through uh, the most points you would expect something like that right but look at the gradient of the line let's see what happens if 6 195 was a point on the scatter plot 6 195 has to be somewhere here that's where the point needs to be so if you were now to draw the line of best fit and you have a point up there um with my ruler uh, you would expect it to be slightly higher than maybe it won't actually touch that point there but you would expect it to be slightly higher than uh, what it is now at this point so if the line is slightly higher so take a look at uh, this line one uh, let's say this is a and this is b let's sort of compare a and b a is very steep b is a little bit gentle what is the question saying Will the gradient of the least squares regression line increase or decrease? It will decrease. It will decrease. And then why are we saying that it is going to decrease? Uh, the point that is now added, it's way above all the other points. It's way above all the other points for its corresponding x value. You can say, oh, no, it is not above this one. But for its corresponding x value, it is way above there. It is an outlier, so to say. So we would expect the gradient to now be gentle compared to initially when it was steep. There we land.